Hello class, welcome to story time today. Uh, we've got some more spring books and some more old McDonald books to read today. And we'll start with our pace. And this mug is a shout out to Devil's Lake State Park. If you haven't been there, you should go. It's in Wisconsin, it's pretty fun. So that was our water drink and let's do our belly breathing. And it's time to cross crawl. I'm going to go elbow to knee today. Move. Cross those ankles, stick those thumbs down, cross your hands, flip them up. Hello, Freckles. Uncross your arms, uncross your ankles your fingertips. All right, let's get started with our book. The first one is called Hatch. And this is, that doesn't really give me an author. Oh, there it is, written by Alexandra Robinson. And this one has some smaller pictures, so I'm going to hold the book a little bit closer. And I'm actually going to be, probably use my screen um, to read some of the words so you can see the, the little pictures. Isn't that a cute one? Hatch. So these are all about things that hatch out of eggs, usually in the spring. Who lays eggs? You might know that hens lay eggs. Did you know that fish? Frogs, snakes, and alligators lay eggs too. Each egg is like a little home for a baby animal. It provides food and keeps the baby safe until it hatches. Did you know some fish lay more than 1,000 eggs at a time? I'm going to scooch a little closer. Sea turtle. Sea turtles lay their eggs in sand and then return to the sea. Here's the alligator. Alligators guard their eggs from hungry animals. Blue-footed booby. Birds sit on their eggs, keeping them safe and warm. Some crabs carry their eggs under their body. Scuttle, scuttle. Can you see those little eggs in there? Ladybugs. Some, lady, some insects, such as ladybugs, lay their eggs on plants. Pretty cool. Hens and chicks. Hen, a hen lays her eggs in a soft nest. After about 21 days, a fluffy chick hatches from each egg. The male chicks grow into roosters and the females grow into hens. Um, cock a doodle doo! There's the rooster. Chicks lose their fluffy down, fe down feathers as they grow. This is what's inside an egg. You can see the shell, the white, the yolk, and the chick. Did you know mother hens chirp to their chicks before they hatch? They talk to them in the eggs. These ones are adorable. Penguins. Penguins are birds that live near the South Pole. They lay up to three eggs at a time. Some lay their eggs on thick ice while others build nests from stone on the earth. There's a penguin sitting on an egg. The chick, the egg. Did you know penguins huddle in groups to keep their chicks safe and warm? 
A male and female penguin take turns sitting on their eggs and finding food. So the, the male guards the egg while the female goes fishing. Female returns. And then make, female guards the egg while the male goes fishing. And then the male returns and they keep taking turns to keep their eggs safe. As they grow, penguin chicks lose their soft feathers and grow slick, waterproof ones. So this one, he's losing the soft ones and growing those waterproof ones. Sea turtles, adorable. Female sea turtles bury their eggs in dry sand. After about 60 days, the babies hatch and dig their way out of the sandy nest. They, make their, they then make their way to the sea. So here's the egg. Here's what's called the hatchling. Hatchlings use a small, sharp egg tooth to break out of the egg. Did you know most female sea turtles return to the same beach every year to lay more eggs? Hatchlings float on the water to sleep. Cute. Uh, that says sea turtles use their flippers to dig holes for their eggs. So that's a mama sea turtle digging their hole. Did you know baby sea turtles find their find the sea by heading down toward the moonlit water? So that means it would happen at night, doesn't it? Snakes. Ah. Most snakes lay eggs. Some bury them in sand or earth and then leave them. Others wrap their body around the eggs to protect them. They only leave when the eggs hatch. Did you know snake, a snake egg gets bigger as the baby snake grows inside it? A python guards her eggs and shakes, and shakes to keep them warm. So she lets her body shake to keep the eggs warm. Snakes are part of a group of scaly skinned animals called reptiles. A snake has a leathery shell. Hmm. Snakes shed their skin or molt as they grow. You can kind of see him coming out of his own skin. Baby snakes look cute, but be careful if their parents can give a poisonous bite. So can they. So even as babies, they're poisonous and dangerous. Ducks. Quack, quack. In spring, ducks build their nests in safe places using leaves and feathers. The female sits on her eggs until they hatch, and she cares for her brood as they grow. Did you know a group of ducks on water is called a raft? I didn't know that. A, duck is, a duck's egg is nearly twice as big as a hen's egg. At six months old, most young ducks start laying their own eggs. That's pretty young. Most ducklings can walk just a few hours after they hatch. Quack, quack. Ducklings follow their mother to water where she teaches them to feed. Butterflies, we did this in the fall, didn't we? We saw this life cycle. Most butterflies lay their eggs on plants. A tiny caterpillar hatches from each egg. Later, it changes into a chrysalis and then a butterfly. Each butterfly egg has a tiny hole that lets in air and water. Butterflies, butterflies can lay up to 300 eggs. Flutter, flutter. Did you know a caterpillar's skin doesn't grow? Instead, its skin molts as, it bodies, as its body grows, kind of like the snake. A butterfly comes out of the chrysalis with wet crinkly wings that soon open and dry. So that's the wet crinkly part and then they dry to the bigger part like that. The life cycle of a butterfly. So you have number one is the egg. Number two is the caterpillar getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Three is the chrysalis and four is the butterfly. Alligators. Wow, so many animals in this book. An alligator builds her nest near water. She lays her eggs and stays near the nest to watch over them. When they hatch, she cracks the shell with her mouth. Alligators guard their nests from other animals. Alligator babies hatch after about 65 days. 
Alligators carry their young hatchlings in their jaws. An alligator hatchling is about eight inches long. That's about the length of this book. It grows to about 10 feet long, as long as two park benches. That's pretty big. Geese. Adult geese build their nests in grassy areas near water. The female lays one egg a day and then sits on them. The male goose, or gander, stays nearby to keep them safe. Did you know a goose and gander usually stay together for life? A goose egg is nearly three times bigger than a hen's egg. And most goslings can di dive and swim after just one day. By fall, young goslings are ready to join the flock and fly toward a warm, to a warmer place. Gosling hatchlings squeak to call for their mother. It helps her look after them. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> frogs. Female frogs lay their eggs in fresh water. After about 21 days, the tadpoles hatch. They each have a long tail and gills, which they lose as they grow into frogs. Some frogs lay their eggs on leaves. The hatchling tadpoles drop into the water below. Frogs lay up to 400 eggs at a time. All those little spots, there are eggs. Frogs live on land and in water. These types of animals are called amphibians. Ribbit. Tiny tadpoles can be seen growing inside frogs' eggs. So their eggs are transparent. That means you can see through them. Did you know some frogs never hatch as tadpoles? They go from eggs to frogs. So not all of them do this life cycle. First it's the egg. Then it's the, tail, the tadpole with the tail for swimming. Then it's a froglet where it kind of looks like a tadpole and a frog. Then it's the frog. I think this is our last one. Our last one is the owl. Some owls make their nests in burrows. Others nest in tall trees. After the eggs hatch, the female owl guards her owlets while the male hunts for food. Hoot. So that's an owlet and that's the owl. Did you know some male owls bring food to the chicks about 10 times a day? Five week old owlets run and jump to practice hunting. Owls give food to their chicks from their mouths or talons. So that's, there they are getting fed. Newly hatched owlets are mostly bald, but they soon grow fluffy down. And that's the end of that one. That was a long book, wasn't it? All those really great animals and creatures that God makes that come out of eggs hatch in the spring. Now we're ready for our last book today. Old MacDonald Had a Truck. This is by Steve Gates and illustrated by Ida Cabin. Maybe it's Caban. I'm not sure. Old MacDonald Had a Truck. So that's their truck there. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna read about in this one. Well, sing about in this one. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had an excavator, E-I-E-I-O. With a dig dig here and a dig dig there, here a dig, there a dig, everywhere a dig dig. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a front loader, E-I-E-I-O. With a scoop scoop here and a scoop scoop there, here scoop, there scoop, everywhere a scoop scoop. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a bulldozer, E-I-E-I mo, with a push push here and a push push there, here a push, there a push, everywhere a push push. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> and on that farm, he had a motor grater, E-I-E-I-O. With a scrape rake here and a rake scrape there, here a scrape, there a rake, everywhere a scrape rake. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a dump truck, E-I-E-I, uh-oh. With a dump thump here and a dump thump there, here a dump, there a thump, everywhere a dump thump. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a... This one stuck together. What did he have? A steamroller. E-I-E-I -E slow. With a squish, with a squish smash here and a squish smash there. Here a squish, there a smash, everywhere a squish smash. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. What are they making? And on that farm, he had a cement mixer. E-I-E-I -E flow. With a spin whirl here and a spin whirl there. Here a spin, there a whirl, everywhere a spin whirl. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a truck. E-I-E-I, -E go! The end. So an old McDonald with a monster truck. I've never seen that before. Thanks for joining me for story time. I hope you have a great rest of your day.